Today I'm talking about um, what historical role uh, have women played and play today in a male-dominated field. Um, creati creativity takes its, imagination, its inspiration from the past and history tends to be circular. For example, many great chefs such as Picasso, uh, sorry, pardon me, uh, many great artists such as Picasso base their style taken from inspiration from the classics. And uh, grand country uh, kitchens uh, tended to take cooks because it was their, their domain, the thing that they did. Um, with the influence of travel, male chefs started to creep in, especially from France, and it was considered smart and sophisticated, and the work was, of course, manual regarding strength and a degree of uh, administration, so the female didn't have such a large role to play in something that was a natural thing to her. Uh, of course, with the lack of equality, um, uh, things soon became very male-dominated. Um, I still find it actually quite amazing sometimes when I get phone calls at work, somebody wants to speak to the chef, and they always say, oh, um, is Mr. Atkins available? <laughs> and I just think, you know, today it's a little, little sad, really. Um, but in this country, um, there were some great female leaders. Angus Marshall, Is Isabel Beaton, Elizabeth David, and Julia Child, although she was American, but she had huge influence here. Um, they, they have been the backbone of culinary art. Uh, Mrs. Marshall had a cookery school in London in the 18th century, and again wrote many cookery books. She was the first lady to invent an ice cream machine and, believe it or not, use liquid nitrogen. So there you go. Heston Blumenthal called, called her one of the greatest culinary pioneers that this country has ever seen. Indeed, she was way beyond her time and unfortunately never ever received the recognition that um, Isabel Beaton has had, um, being a journalist rather than a chef and a cook. Beaton at, uh, attained great notoriety uh, for such a short lifespan. Uh, Elizabeth David, again, was a much-travelled journalist, described Beaton as being slapdash and misleading uh, for that time. A lady, a lady in society uh, um, would not be doing such menial tasks. While Elizabeth David was a somewhat eccentric lady, she had a wonderf wonderful taste buds and must have, had an must have been extremely creative and found inspiration about writing about food. And again, um, as we've just heard, writing about food stimulates the imagination and makes you want to, when, makes you want to cook. Um, with the 60s culinary explosion in this country, um, the demand for David's ingredients and fantastic combinations uh, that had never been experimented with before started to make imports worthwhile. And in America, at the same time, Julia Child, a few years older than David, wrote Mastering the Art of French Cookery. That book is still, in my opinion, one of the best book, cookery books that has ever, ever been written. It explains technique, it explains treatment, availability, and uses basic worldwide food preparations to its best. These are four women that were pioneers of culinary art in this country today. Slowly the tables are changing with sexual equality and we are seeing a large number of women in our top kitchens. They're confident and exciting cooks dedicated to the craft. What do they bring? Presentation, creativity, flavour combination, commerciality and productivity. While physicians and scientists, mostly male, have always been associated with herbal tinctures and remedies for our health and well-being, 
we now seem to have an amalgamation of science and culinary art. Uh, I'm making it a very exciting time to be cooking. Uh, would female chefs have come to prom prom prominence without male patronage? I wonder. This is now happening all over the world, and many of our female chefs are earning great, the great title of being the best female in the world as a chef. These women have started their careers without male influence, just pure desire. Uh, with the current fashion of plant foods, historically we see the Mediterranean countries, uh, because of their climate, of having been prime leaders in their use of flowers, herbs and vegetables. Storing vegetables, general fermentation of plants was part of their historic and culinary background and seeking the epitome of a healthy diet. Once again, knowledge has been shared, worked on, improved with, and every man taking the credit. Thank you.